We show empathy in the classroom by, it's more so situational. I teach emotional disturbance, so one of the things that we normally have to deal with is students hitting each other. So one of the things that we do is that in those teachable moments, we sit to students and say, well, think about how this person feels. Do you, would you like it if you were hit? And most likely the person would say no. And then we're like, okay, so then why are you hitting this other person? Make sure that you think about the other person when you're engaging in behaviors like that. So that's how we show empathy. The way that we model empathy in my classroom took it's quite a bit of time actually to come up with. By the end of the year, I was really tired of this, my students using derogatory language towards each other. And it didn't even have to be over anything specific. It could just be a, just a general comment that they made to, one, to each other. So I decided to use a strategy called apology letters. So what I would do is I would say, okay, I, would, I like to handle things at the classroom level when applicable. So I started having my students write each other apology letters and they had frames, like they had to be two paragraphs, three to five words per paragraph. And in that, the students had to reflect on what they said that affected another person, what they could do differently next time and how they can make amends. And it was, it was a tough strategy to teach, but by the end of the year, I had a running record of how my students had grown socially, and it was pretty amazing. Uh, in the classroom, so my classroom has, is, is very diverse. Uh, it's a very diverse classroom that I, that I do, especially in Chula Vista. I have regular opportunities where people come from different backgrounds. I have students who've been homeschooled their whole life, and I have students who have been kicked out of four or five schools and I have super religious students and I have super non-religious students. And there's constantly an opportunity for them when they pop off with some comment about, uh, some derogatory comment, to engage them in a conversation that is redemptive with that person, with that other person, whoever they're trying to come at odds with. Um, usually developing empathy is best done, I, I find, is best done when I empathize with somebody who maybe is alienated from the rest of the class. And then I find these individual ways to lock up one person with another person who disagree, maybe put them in the same group, and then supervise that group very closely as they, as they begin to work together on something that's totally not interpersonal, but it becomes interpersonal as they work together on it.